Hi there, it's Sam from foodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Thank you for joining me in Spring Watch. 14 video projects coming out to you back to back to back to back for 14 days. One a day every day. And this year, Spring Watch obviously focuses on the spring and summer catalogue and celebration. Um, but this year I'm doing a giveaway every single day. Different, different thing every day. And today's giveaway are going to be the mini binder, uh, mini embroidery hoops and the mini binder clips, which are here. You're going to get fresh packets, not my secondhand stuff that I've mostly used up. Two ways to enter. You can enter for free by leaving a comment on YouTube or over on my blog and you'll get one entry into the draw. Or you can place an order and you will get five entries into the draw. You can place an order from... The UK, the Netherlands, Germany, France and Austria. And those are the places that I can send um, the products to. I cannot send product out of those five countries. So if you are randomly selected as a winner and you're outside those five countries, I can't send you that, but I can send you a gift I've made myself. But today's project is this one. It's an envelope punch board bag in a box holding an Easter egg, a Cadbury's cream egg, which personally can't bear the things. Give me a toffee mallow any day but it's not 1982 anymore and they don't make them anymore. So I'm using the Picture Perfect birthday paper, which I love. It's six by six, which is the size I want for this anyway. I love it. It's photographic one side, as you can see, and then it's just regular graphic on the other side. Just fantastic, I love it. And I used this one on my original project and I'm, gonna, I'm looking for the confetti sprinkly ones. Where's the confetti sprinkles? Have I used them all up? <gasps> no! Oh, I'm looking for the confetti sprinkles. Which I can't see. I must have used them all. I'll use this one. Because you see, you know, I have got quite a lot of children. I've got four of them. Um, but we don't always do lots of birthday things. So, I don't have very many people that I make birthday treats for anymore, really. Just small boys. Um, so I'm going to use it on an Easter project. So six by six, 15 and a quarter by 15 and a quarter. Your first punch and score line comes at one and three eighths of an inch, which is three and a half centimetres. So punch and score and then slide it up to four inches, which is 10.2 centimetres. Punch and score. So I've got two score lines there. And when you rotate it round, you use the score line and line it up to this line here. That's your score guide. And there's a little little mark that sticks out and that's where you carry on punching and scoring and keep going all the way around until you've done all four sides i first came up with the um, bag in a box design quite a few years ago now and it's a great design it's a real it's a bit of a cheat, it's kind of an optical illusion because it looks like you have got a bag in a box um, but you'd be amazed how little adhesive is, need, uh, is needed. So I'm rounding off my corners. Okay, move that out of the way. So burnish your score lines. Now you've got wide triangles and little triangles. The little ones are actually going to come the wrong way round. So they're going to go that way round but the rest you would follow in the normal way so fold and burnish don't over burnish particularly other than the bottom part because we do want this to look like a faux box so you don't need to come in with a bone with a bone folder or anything like that okay so you need to position it so that your small triangles are to the left and the right and you've got these wide ones in front of you because the part we're going to cut, let me get my longer scissors, is to the left and right of the wider triangle. And that is so that when you're creating this part, it fits perfectly. Now, if you try to go the other direction, you'll see it's wider. That's too wide. So you need to make sure that it's either side of that wider triangle. I just do the same on both sides. Super duper easy. Now, as I said, it's so easy to close this up. All you need are four mini glue dots. And the place where you're going to put, so we've just released released this part, and it's the triangle here. Or the corner there, just in the corner. A 
I do the same all the way round. So you've got four mini glue dots. So can you see where they are? So if you were to make a box, you would fold it up like that and bring the sides up. But we're not going to do that. We're going to do it the other way around. Put these on the outside. And that mini glue dot is just there. So it's completely loose there. It's just at that point. And just bring them round on all four sides. And trust me, the glue dots are so strong, it's going to hold in place with no problem. Oh, you know what? I fibbed. I said we needed four. We need six because we need them there and there as well. Forgot those ones. Because this has got to stick down. Of course you don't have to do that, but it would mean that your faux bag in a box wouldn't close up in quite the same way. But that's what you do. You grab your cream egg or your Lindor egg or whichever one you fancy. And I'm going to go with very burst this time. Love these, these are so cute. And pinch it shut. And that's how it appears to be a bag inside a box. Cool, huh? Right, let's get some stamping going on. So, these mini binder, I keep calling them binder hoops, they're not their embroidery hoops. You've got two different sizes. Now, obviously, because it's an Easter egg, I wanted an Easter bunny in there, so I came to Hello Easter for this one. And I'm gonna, we're going to have a pink bunny as well. Oh, why not? Let's just let's just kick out the rule book. So, Berry Burst. There's a clear block, handy. And I would suggest doing this bit first. Stamp first and cut afterwards. Lovely, vibrant bunny. So which one's going to fit better? It's definitely going to be the bigger one because if I punch that out, I'd lose an ear or a fluffy bobtail. So I want the bigger one. Now you need to come to your circle punches. And I put them away in the wrong places. So which circle punch is going to be best? Well, I'm going to hazard a guess and say the one and a half because the one and three eighths is too small. So I need a one and a half, but I also want the next size up for a couple of reasons which I'll explain in a minute. So my one and a half round little bunny. I'll try not to lose ears off there. And with some whisper white, the next size up which is one and three quarters. Good reason for this. So first things first Got my glue, uh, got my hoop, and I'm going to get some glue. Now, I have found that Tombow is absolutely fine, so I'm just working around the edges just a little bit. Fine tip glue would work well as well. And that is going to sit over the top of this circle with just the merest hint of edge. I wouldn't really even say that there was an edge to it. And my bunny is going to be suspended inside it. Now I could have gone for a bigger bunny, but it would have sat over, you know, and punched it out with a bigger circle, but it would have covered up all of the embroidery hoop. We don't want that. We want to see it. So I'm going to go with two dimensionals. There's one there and another one over the top to give it extra height. And she will sit inside there just like that. If it had been just one layer, she'd have sunk in too much. So there is still a little bit, little bit of depth. So she is hidden down a little bit, which is fine. And then I want my sequins. Did I put them back? I did. Huh. Come back sequins. So these are the Tutti Fruity Sweet sequins and they are sticky back. So I'm going to grab one in Berry Burst, pop it there. And this is all dried nicely. So, strong glue just down at the bottom part because obviously it's going to sit there and I'm, I've got an opening there. One cute little Easter treat with a 
cream egg inside. Ugh. Lindor all the way. Anyway, what do you think? I think that's so cute. What a cute way to use these lovely embroidery hoops. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me and I hope to speak to you very soon. Bye.